All right, we just got to Lake Tahoe and this has to be the clearest, most beautiful water I've ever seen right in the mountains. Let's see what Lake Tahoe has to offer. Lloyd and Mandy, a Canadian Aussie couple that quit our jobs, sold everything we had to travel the world full time. We're currently traveling North America in our RV and are going to spend the next 24 hours exploring Lake Tahoe and its surroundings. When I think about yesterday, my oh my. My, oh my, the kiss, and so I did. So Lloyd has organized us the best day in Lake Tahoe today. We're starting off in a place called Heavenly Village and so far it is pretty heavenly. The gondola comes right through all of the restaurants. It's so beautiful. This entire village just smells like yummy food, like just a big pizza. <laughs> It's making me so hungry. Same. <laughs> we might have to eat soon. Do we get a pizza? We might have to. After seeing them, they looked so good. What'd you think of the village? It's pretty awesome, but it's a lot smaller than what I thought. Same. We kind of walked the whole village in about a minute. I think we head down the lake. Hello, handsome. Hey, did you have your nap? This was here? No. So cool. What does this mean? Plague warning. Uh oh. What's plague? I don't know. Can you imagine waking up with this view every morning? It feels like the ocean, but it, it's obviously not. I'll just have a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger? Yeah. What do I get? Whatever you want. Okay. So many options. <laughs> you excited? The size of it. It's huge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like everything I ever dreamed of. <laughs> Best burger I've had in months. Easily. It was so cheap too. That was so good. Not too fancy. It like really got a 
craving out of me that I didn't know I even had. <laughs> and it was really cheap. It was only about $8 per burger. We're gonna head to Emerald Bay now. Great spot to see the turquoise waters. It's like incredible. The pictures are amazing. I'm so excited to see it in person. found this cute little baby duck, I think it is. Maybe a baby geese. Goose. <laughs> oh, and he can't find his family. Oh, that, that's his <gasps> family there. But he's so far from them. So far. Is he gonna make it? I don't think you can touch him. No, cause then, or is that true? The mom like rejects them if yeah. you touch them? Why aren't they waiting for him? I don't know. Shit babysitting. Maybe they already <laughs> ditched him, you know? Aww. That's That would be me if I was in a duck family. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. That massive tree has bricks all filled inside of it. I'm assuming to make sure that it doesn't fall over. It's got a pretty heavy lean on it. It's a bit nerve wracking. Some of these trees are just insanely massive. Feels good to be back in the forest after being in the desert for so long. <laughs> we were missing it. Oh my god, we made it. It's a big hike. <laughs> now we just got to find this campsite, get some water on the way, Hopefully and hope it doesn't get dark. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we make it there in time. Got water. Should be right. A couple of days. Yeah, that's enough. because we'll want it eventually. Yeah, good one. Find Hope Valley by keeping your eyes open for an unmarked turn off about one and a half miles south of Pickett's Junction, which is that where 88 intersects 89. The turn off is an unmarked paved road. This isn't paved. Oh, okay, I thought it was but unpaved. Does that mean we're meant to be turning right? Going down that way? Basically, just a parking lot that you're allowed to stay in. Eh? Yeah, it's so pretty though. It's actually pretty cool. There's toilets. We should have been doing this a long time. Yeah. This is way better than you like. Walmart cracker barrel. <laughs> wow, I can't believe this is free. It is so nice. It would be absolutely perfect if we had any cell service or Wi Fi <laughs> signal out here. We don't. But I don't care about tonight, but... Tomorrow we gotta do some work, so we're only gonna be able to stay here for the night. But that's I'm okay. Not, I'm not gonna be able to figure out where to go, because we don't have a service. <laughs> oh God. We'll just have to drive until we get service. 
and figure it out, but it's pretty cool. We could probably, we could spend two nights here, but. We'll see what happens. We have no idea where we're driving right now. Came about 30 minutes south of Lake Tahoe last night and we wanna to head to the coast. So we're gonna keep driving, but we don't really know which direction to go because we don't have any cell service and the maps isn't really working. So I think we'll head back towards Lake Tahoe area and then just look somewhere up on the map maybe just head west until we find a nice campsite. Don't really know where we're gonna end up, but we'll just start driving. 